In automotive terms, Genesis refers to the name of Hyundai's new for 2017 luxury brand, which has finally separated from its mothership and is striving for a Lexus S rise to prominence as it introduces five new models by 2021. The rechristening of the Hyundai Genesis sedan as the Genesis G80 was the Korean Mark S first platinum plated stake in the turf, a fine starting point since it is the best driving Hyundai to date. But to properly establish Genesis as a true competitor to, say, Mercedes-Benz, a grand flagship was needed. Enter the 2017 G90 sedan, which presents as a solid yet decidedly simpler alternative to the established luxury liners. Curb your enthusiasm. The fleet of G90s lining the curbs of our hotel in downtown Vancouver, British Columbia, exuded a swanky presence fit for a cadre of visiting dignitaries. Long and low with flowing lines and rear-wheel drive proportions, it is an elegant automobile, albeit a somewhat generic-looking one. Its design is clearly related to the smaller G80 but with a touch of Mercedes-Benz S-Class to the rear haunches and taillights and a hint of Audi A8 in the blunt nose in the hexagon grille. With the wing Genesis badge affixed to the top of its fascia rather than placed prominently in the snout, the G90 gives off the non-specific vibe of a startup S PowerPoint presentation on what a big dollar luxury car should look like. And that look no s and change based on optional equipment, because, surprisingly, unlike every other luxury brand S offerings, there is none. Genesis offers buyers just one style of 19-inch aluminum wheels with all-season tires, and color choices are limited to four grayscale hues as well as dark blue or brown, with either a black or a beige interior. Few choices. Given that all G90s come essentially loaded to the gills with creature comforts, the V8 brings a few additional items, buyers' preferences pertain only to the mechanicals. The bulk of our mostly highway driving was spent in the Volume 3.3T Premium model, which features Hyundai's latest iteration of the direct-injected Lambda V6. Updates include the addition of twin turbochargers, along with downsizing to 3.3 liters of displacement from the naturally aspirated version S3.8. While not as silky as BMW S turbocharged inline 6, the G90S base V6 engine is generally smooth and subdued and produces a hearty 365 horsepower at 6,000 revolutions per minute. More important, it's 376 pounds to foot of torque from 1300 rpm affords whip snap throttle response and satisfying thrust with every provocation of the accelerator pedal. Never did the V6 feel labored in moving the G90S nearly 5,000 pounds. Stepping up to the 5.0 Ultimate trim brings Hyundai's buttery smooth 5.0-liter Tau V8 also found in the G80 and the G90S predecessor, the Hyundai Equus. While our seat time in the Ultimate was minimal, the V8S refined snarl is a classic fit for a big luxury car, and there is an even stronger kick from its 420 horsepower and 383 pounds to foot of torque. We've e recorded a solid 5.2 second 0 to 60 mile per hour run from the similarly sized Equus with the Tau V8 and G90S with the new V6 shouldn't T be too far off that pace, either. Hyundai S8 Speed Automatic, design in-house, is the only transmission choice regardless of engine. It comes complete with a de rigueur electronic joystick shift lever and steering wheel mounted paddles that respond lazily to inputs. Gear changes happen smoothly and with little fuss, even if upshifts come a bit too quickly at times. Rear wheel drive is standard on the G90, but a rear bias all-wheel drive system, which Hyundai calls H-Track, can be ordered with either power plant. Whether rear or all-wheel drive, the V6 is rated at a modest 17 miles per gallon city and 24 miles per gallon highway. Opting for the rear drive V8 carries a 1 mile per gallon penalty in the city cycle, with all-wheel drive further downgrading the V8S figures to 15 23rds of a mile per gallon. Composed Comfort Based on an enlarged version of the G80S platform, the G90 measures within a couple of inches of its long wheelbase competitors in overall dimensions, including the Mercedes-Benz S-Class and the Audi A8 as well as the BMW 7 Series, the Cadillac CT6, 
and the Lexus LS. This big car benefits from having a host of cameras to aid tight parking maneuvers. Genesis claims the John 9 BS steel structure is lighter and stiffer than the S-Class S body in white. But this is no lightweight, with aluminum used only for some suspension components. The smooth Canadian roads meant there were no opportunities to experience any serious impact harshness, but the car generally feels composed and far more rigid than the previous Equus. Genesis did tee outs or the G9 PS ride and handling development to Lotus Engineering, as was done with the G80, yet it has refined its own tuning to provide a similar sense of competence. Brake feel is satisfyingly firm and responsive, body motions are kept nicely in check, and the electrically assisted steering is relatively hefty, with secure on center tracking and a modicum of feedback. The standard driver adjustable sacks, ZF dampers vary ride quality from cushy to somewhat flinty, but the car never wallows or crashes on its bump stops. Notable only for its inoffensiveness, the G90S driving behavior is best enjoyed as a maddest pace. A button on the center console selects one of four drive modes, Smart, Sport, Echo, and Individual, which change the car's character from relaxed to slightly energized by adjusting the firmness of the dampers and the steering, the aggressiveness of the throttle and the transmission programming, and even the bias of the all-wheel drive system. We found the default Smart setting to be the best. It's programmed logic adapting to our throttle inputs for a happy medium between the lethargic eco and the harsher sport mode. The Kitchen Sink The G90S stately cabin is a model of sound suppression, offering lots of room to stretch out and configurable mood lighting for ambience. A power sunroof, a full suede headliner, and supple leather on the dash, doors, and seats all are included, as are real wood, aluminum, and stainless steel trim. The four outboard seats are heated and ventilated, the latter only in the V8, as well as eminently comfortable and supportive, particularly the 22-way adjustable driver restroom. There are also nine airbags, power soft closed doors, a wireless charging pad for personal devices, a 7.0-inch information screen between the main analog gauges, a vivid 12.3-inch central display with an intuitive menu layout, and a 17-speaker lexicon audio system. The only upgrades come with the V8S Ultimate trim level, which swaps the V6S Bixenon headlights for LEDs and adds power adjustability and ventilation for the outboard rear seating positions. Highlighted by a simple rotary controller on the console and lots of smartly arranged secondary buttons and knobs, the G90S ergonomics are excellent, even if some of the switchgear is the same as that in a $20,000 Hyundai Elantra. Genesis furthers the G90S all-in formula by including a full-color head-up display along with nearly every active safety feature extant, including driver attention alert, automated emergency braking with pedestrian detection, blind spot alert and assist, and semi-autonomous adaptive cruise control with lane departure prevention. Strangely absent, a panoramic sunroof, massaging seats, and a separate rear seat entertainment system, all of which you can get on a Ford F-150 pickup truck. As will be the case with all Genesis models, the G90S ease of use extends beyond the vehicle, with three years of complimentary maintenance and various services, including valet-delivered loaner cars while yours is in the shop. Although Genesis expects to offer the G90 at a considerable price advantage versus similarly equipped competitors expect V6 models to start in the high $60,000s and V8s around $80,000 absent from its list of features is a sense of occasion behind the wheel. The G90 has almost all of the requisite goodies and does nothing poorly, yet it is short on character and no s and recalibrate the segment. In a class rife with a la carte configurations and custom flourishes, Genesis hopes that its less pretentious take on luxury will alleviate some decision-making stress for customers more concerned with enjoying their luxury than flaunting it and thereby make the brand S on Genesis a success. Success.